This is the brand new Brookhaven update, and in today's video, I will be going over everything inside this incredible update, a bunch of new secrets and glitches I found along the way, and I'll even be attempting to insert the new skins onto Brookhaven cars. So this is the first time I've looked around in this place. It looks like we have a summer holiday resort for anyone looking to hop on a summer vacation. I'm pretty sure everyone's already had their summer vacation, but okay. Here we have a brand new play park with what looks to be new activities, an area where we can watch shows, and even a whole new bag basketball court. Let's see if I can score a hoop. It bounced off. Let's try again. I scored. They even call me the next Michael Jordan cuz I'm so good at hooping. Just kidding. I actually suck. It looks like we have some controls to change the look of the water park. Let me make it night so you guys can actually see the difference. Whoa! That's so cool. There's a giant blue light underneath the pool. The slides actually work too. That's always good to know. This is one of those hanging beds where we can fall asleep so easily. These things are actually so comfortable in real life. You guys really need to try them out. Can we light this grill on fire just like in the normal houses? We can! Help! I'm completely on fire! Not even the water is putting it out! Okay, finally it's gone! Let's just carry on with the video! It looks like we can also spawn some disasters in this holiday resort! For some reason the flood completely stops when it reaches the driveway! That doesn't make any sense! What will happen if I spawn every disaster here? Gosh dang! The resort is under attack by literally everything! Let me put all this out! I need to focus on what really matters! There's no secret notes in the buildings from what I can see! That's kinda strange because they normally hide them behind these boxes. The secret safe should be somewhere along the edge of the house. It should just be right here. Found it. That's a pretty dang good safe location. It took me quite a while to figure that out. Anyway, recently I've been seeing these new videos on people making whole streets with props. Look at how cool this looks. I hopped into a public server to try this out, and I believe everyone's using this wooden house right here. We just need to place a bunch of them on the wall just like this so it looks like a street on some hill. Max prop limit. Let me get my alt account to help me out a bit. Here we go. That's the street complete. It looks better if we stack the houses. Now the street looks a lot more busy and active in the community. Everyone seems to be checking it out. I think she's trying to walk into one of the houses. Get out of there, you fool. That's not your property. This is a pretty cool way to make your server look a lot more active and not so boring. Oh, also, if any of you guys wanted to join me in game, just simply follow me on Roblox. I've made it so everyone who follows me gets to join in game. I was looking around the new house again and I found a weird glitch that we can perform in the pool. We need to swim close to the edge just like this. And we need to spawn a sleeping bag under the water so our head pokes out. Now once we jump we glitch into this empty room where we can swim around and look at people swimming in the pool. That's so dang weird. I don't see anything else going on back here. Just a whole lot of water and nothing. I guess if you wanted to spy on people in the water this is the best place to go. I also forgot to mention that in order to access the safe we first need to lay down in this bed. Now we can jump onto this area and fall through the floor. Let me check if we can glitch through any of the walls in here. Doesn't look like it. That's a shame. So guys, there's been a new speed glitch going around which allows us to drive faster in cars. We need to first spawn a tall car. So a truck like this should work, but you guys can use the free ones too. Now make it so the suspension is high and make the speed of the car as fast as possible. Now this is how fast we go normally. It's pretty fast, but it's not quite fast enough. In order to go faster, we need to drive into the ocean and into the invisible wall. A lot of you guys remember this method from the ladder trick, but I think this makes us go a little faster. Now all we need to do is reverse as fast as we can and look how much faster we go. Gosh dang, we fling so far. Let me try it on the other side so I get more of a run up. Three, two, one, blast off. It's super hard to control. You can't really steer or you'll just fling around. If you guys have better driving skills, you'll be able to go way faster. As you guys can tell, I'm not the best driver, so my car just flings around like a fool. Anyway, I don't know if you guys remember, but a little bit ago, I did an experiment to see if I could scare Brookhaven players. I basically pretended to be a kid trying to get adopted, then terrified everyone with my creepy avatar. Well, I've just found one of the scariest avatars I've ever seen on Brookhaven, and I've just found the item we need for it to work. <laughs> Look how scary I am. This is the item I used by the way. It costed 99 Robux, but I'm sure you guys can find a free version. People are making these scary items all the time. I'm gonna do the same tactic as last video, but this time sneak up on them so it's a lot scarier. There's a rich family right here. Let's ask if they want to adopt me. Bruh, no. What do you mean no? Why not bro? I said no. Fine then. If you don't want to adopt me, I'll just destroy your car with my monster truck. Take that bozo. R.I.P. car. 
She said she's scared sarcastically. I'll give you something to be scared about now. What's up, bro? You can't run away now. Let's ask this giant tower house. Open up. I've been knocking for ages. All right, that's it. I'm breaking in. Adopt me right now. <laughs> Why would she ban me? These Brookhaven players have been so mean lately. I finally got adopted by a super rich family. They're gonna be into such a big surprise when they find out who I really am. Let's have a nice family dinner. Yum! None of these people even speak English. Can someone tell me in the comments what they are saying? I got literally no clue what words are coming out of their mouths. Come! Oh, she understood that. Maybe she speaks English too. Do you speak English? <coughs> Bro! What did I even do? I'm just gonna scare the next person I see. I'm breaking in. What's up, Amigos. I think she's trying to escape, but she can't because she's stuck in the door. I guess you're stuck with me now. This is actually so fun, you guys gotta try it out. I'm sure you're all aware about the new skins on the Brookhaven guns. We can get golden skins, wooden skins, and even camo skins. Well, I want to put these skins on a vehicle, so I'm gonna test the best methods that could allow us to do so. Currently, the only way we can modify our car is by using the props. This looks really cool, but it's just not cool enough. This person managed to find a way where she literally pasted an image onto her car, and it actually covered the whole thing. Well, I've been investigating this for ages, and I literally can't figure out how she did it, so I have a better method in mind. Here I am in Roblox Studio, and if I get the decal of one of the skins, I might be able to paste it around the car. This is the best decal I could find. It should work. So all I do is make a decal under the color section, and it should just show up around the car. Wait! It works! For some reason, the paint is covering it a bit, but that actually looks so cool. I've been trying to remove the paint, and I can't figure it out. Out. Maybe some smart developer can let us know in the comment section. Anyway, that's gonna have to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and watch another video on screen. Bye, Bye guys!